Hey, Warrior Woman. One of my purposes in life, among others, is to remind you of who you are. Um, because this world is a harsh place, and we get kicked around, and we get dragged through the mud, and it's just one thing after the other, a roller coaster of junk that gets thrown at us every day. Um, so we forget. We forget who we were created to be. But I am here to remind you, and I will continue to do that until you get sick of hearing me do that. But again, I want to continue to do that until you've got it here, you've got it here, of who you were created to be. And that is a, a royal priesthood. Uh, somebody who has inheritance. You were literally created as an inheritance for Jesus, your Lord and your Savior. For he, You are his inheritance. And you were created for inheritance, for eternal life. You were literally created for eternal life. And he chose you before you were even born, before the foundation of this world. He set you apart. He made you holy. He made you without blame on the cross. And he loves you. He sent his only son here to die for you because that's how much he loves you. And he wants you to know that. And he wants you as a gift for himself for eternal life. That's how important you are. You are a royal priesthood. And this is what you need to get in here. <laughs> because the, sa the, the enemy of this world wants to continuously lie to you and tell you you have no value. Tell you you have no worth. But that is a total and complete lie. Because he wants to shut your voice. Your voice is very important. And there are people out there who need to hear it. I'm one of them. I know that you have a circle who needs to hear your voice and beyond that circle because God, as I said, chose you and he has something great for you. He just needs, you just need that push. You just need that shove. You need to fear man, or fear God more than you fear man. Shut out the noise and just look at him because he created you as kingdom you are not part of this world he created you for more you are kingdom and so instead of looking at the right here and the right now you need to look look at for what for what you what you have now which is kingdom and what you're going to have for the rest of your life and that's that's what you have to have you know what's the long game what's the end game that's what your focus needs to be on not the what not the noise and the you know the chaos around you but what god's plan is for you what god's purpose is for you and you, god's purpose and plan for you is eternal life but he wants to share that for others through you so they need to hear your voice it's one of the reasons why satan kicks us around so much is so that he shuts us up and he shuts us down well i'm here telling you to cheer you on, to tell you to open your voice. Use your voice to say what God has put in your heart because he has given you something to say. He has given you a mission. He has given you a purpose. And if you're not sure, for, sure what that is, I'm here to help you find out what that is as well because he created every single one of us with a plan and it's bigger than we can even imagine also what he did for us on the cross is where is where our wisdom and where our power comes from it says here in first uh, corinthians chapter 1 23 and 24 it says and i'm going to read parts of this here it says we preach and this is paul's talking he says we preach christ crucified and unto us which are called, it is the power of God and the wisdom of God. So, Christ on the cross, what he did for us, us believing in that, believing in what he did for us on the cross, Christ is the wisdom and Christ is the power. That is what we gained at the cross, one of the things that we gained on the cross, and that Christ is in us. Jesus is in us. He's with us always. He never leaves us. He's faithful. He's good. No matter when we stumble, 
He's always there, and He is the wisdom and the power in us. We always carry that. We always carry that. So we cannot look to man. We cannot look to what man says. We cannot listen to the world. We listen to Him, and He is always speaking to us. He's always speaking to you. He wants you to hear His voice. And the more we come to Him, the more we're going to hear His voice. The more we, we you know, He it says he's, he's knocking at the door. Because He wants to come in and sup with you. He wants to come in and eat with you. He wants to come in and have a relationship with you. When's the last time you opened the door and said, Come in, come sit down and sup with me. You know, have communion with Him. Actually, sup with Him. Eat with Him. You know, praise Him and remember what He did for you at the cross. Because that's where your value and your worth is. He made the way for you at the cross. And giving you, he, had, he gave you everything at the cross. We have everything already. Everything is ours. Everything is in our hands. The kingdom is in our hands. And the enemy is trying to rip it out of our hands, trying to get us to not realize what we already have in our hands. It is ours. It is our hope. It cannot be taken. And, and hope in the Bible actually means confidence. It cannot be taken from us. It cannot be taken from you. It is yours. And it always will be. Just keep your eyes on him. Shut out the noise. And I'm here cheering you on. You are valuable. You are worthy. You are a royal priesthood. You're chosen. You're loved. You have a purpose. And I just want to remind you of that. I want you to remember who you are. You are kingdom. Love you all. Talk to you again soon.